When you hear the word treasure, what do you think of? A treasure chest? Golden coins? Rubies? A map? A prize? In the Bible, Jesus talked about treasure. He said, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and vermin destroy, or where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermin do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. If there was just one thing from today that you could remember, I would want it to be that verse. Where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. So, what is a treasure? A treasure is anything that is valuable to you. It's anything that's really important to you. And sometimes these are things that we think will make us happy. So let me ask you this, what's your treasure? If you're not sure, think about it like this. What's something that is so important to you that if you lost it or if you didn't get it, you would get really upset? Think about it. Whatever that thing is that you're thinking about might be a clue as to what your treasure is. Is it candy? What about cookies? Video games? Toys? Those aren't bad things. I like them too. But what happens when they run out? You might be happy for a little while while you're eating the cookie or playing the game, but when it's gone and done, the happy goes away. Let's look at what Jesus said about treasure again. He talked about two different kinds, treasures on earth and treasures in heaven. He said treasures on earth are things that can get stolen or messed up. They are things that don't last forever. But treasures in heaven, those are the opposite. They don't get stolen, they don't get messed up, and they last forever. So what would be an example of treasures on earth? And what would be an example of treasures in heaven? Whatever your treasure is matters because where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. The more you love and treasure something, the more time you give to it, the more money you give to it, and the more you think about it. That's like giving your heart to something, actually. But why would we give our heart to something like cookies? Seems kind of silly, right? Yeah. When we give our heart to things like this, it seems silly, but God loves it when we give Him our hearts. When we give it to Him, that's actually what will make us have joy, what will actually make us happy. Stuff on earth can trick us to make us think that that will make us happy forever, but it never does. Those things never last. But here's the good news. God's joy and love last forever. And when we give Him our hearts, He loves to give us His love and His joy. And that's what we were made for. This week, I want you to think about the things that are important to you and think about the things that you love. Because the things that you love and the things that are important to you are what your treasure is. And the Bible says, where your treasure is, there your heart will be also.